In this example, we are going to be talking about a required force. And so we're looking to find the required force to keep a 50 pound box um, from sliding down a 20, um, 20 degree incline. Now, this is not gonna account friction and all sorts of physics kinds of things. So it's just a very, very basic general idea of this. Um, so, um, what is the amount of force? So basically this box wants to slide down this direction because it's gravity is pulling it down in that direction. So this BF is representing um, us holding it or what, how much force do we need to keep it stationary? So we're not pulling it up, we're not pulling it down. It just stops it basically, okay? So we got all these different pieces that are happening, all these different pulls that are happening. So BF is what we're trying to find. How much force do we got to pull in that direction in order for it to stabilize it? What you have is it's a 50 pound box and you have gravity pulling directly down into the center of the earth. So that is gravity pulling down. Then you have, um, so that's what BA represents. BC represents the force of the weight pushing against the ramp, which is gonna be perpendicular. So this is gonna be perpendicular to the ramp, okay? And then um, BF, which is actually the same as this AC. The reason why we talk about that is because um, this is the triangle that we're going to mess with. Because it tells you that you have a 50 pound box. Well, that 50 pound box is gravity pulling it down. All right, so then we can label that as 50. You have this 20 degree incline. What role does that play? Um, well, and I'm going to move the 50 here in a second. Because if you look at it like this, you have this 20 degree incline all right well this makes a right triangle so if that's 20 degrees that makes 90 degrees um, and that leaves this to be 70 degrees so if that's 70 degrees and you got yourself another straight line with part of it being a 90 degree angle on this side that leaves this to be 20 degrees so surprisingly that 20 degree incline is the same as that angle between gravity and the force um, perpendicular to the uh, the box the force on the ramp. So we have a 50. So if we look at what we have, we have a right triangle. So if we kind of ignore all this other stuff that's going on, you have yourself a right triangle that has a 20 degree angle and 50. And this is AC and AC is equivalent to BF. So we're looking to figure that out. So if we wanted to figure that out, we are gonna do, because it's a right triangle, we are just gonna do some regular Sokotoa kind of stuff. So we're looking at um, opposite and hypotenuse. So sine of 20 is gonna equal opposite over hypotenuse. We'll multiply the 50 over. And X is gonna equal whatever this turns out to be. And that gets you about 17. So that would be 17 pounds of force needed to stop it. Now, obviously the steeper the slant the more force you would need the less the slant the less force you would need but for this instance we're looking at about 17 pounds of force to stop it from sliding down the hill. Thanks.